why do we even need to do some kind of deployment or uh, uh, you know um, uh, work, work whatever that you're planning to explain what is the purpose of that can you just elaborate a little bit on that before we proceed further hi everyone hi hi good evening and um, welcome the viewers um, as well and uh, thank you nitin um, i would like to answer that question by sharing my screen if you permit uh, let me just uh, try and share. Yeah, yeah, because it's it's going to be a uh, screen shared version. Yeah, please. Okay, just give me a second. I'm, I, I would want to see, uh, I mean, show this part um, to you. Uh, you're, you're the client, uh, right? And you have a business problem, like um, in our previous session also, I was speaking about a specific use case, which was trying to identify the uh, fuel efficiency of a vehicle so that, um, as a client, as a business owner, you want the customers, your customers to get the best deals. And at the same time, you also want to get profitable. So if I have to solve that problem, and if you see, um, I give you this code, right? It, it's basically doing the prediction. If I give you this code, as a business person, would you appreciate it? Maybe not. Ultimately, what we are doing here is trying to predict the mileage of a vehicle, that is fuel efficiency of a vehicle per a gallon of fuel, given the various factors, uh, along with, of course, the engine time. So if I have uh, this problem at hand, and if I give you the code, I'll ask the question back to you. Would you appreciate this being a non-programmer or non-techie uh, uh, person. Uh, Comparing. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'll just like to answer that uh, uh, going into that this thing. But the reason or the rationale for my question was I, uh, I'm I'm kind of again uh, representing the larger audience here. It is not me, Nathan Mishra, who's asking. So uh, the rationale behind of asking that question was. Is it not already like that, or why is it? Is it a very uh, you know when we do the coding part of it? Is it not already part of it, or is it an is it a very important aspect? The deployment of it is it is a very important aspect that we keeping it separate. I mean that was the rationale behind it. Aren't all codes uh, made for deployment, or only some codes made for deployment? I'm trying to understand in that perspective. Okay, um, if I have to elaborate that question, um, when I received data from the client, when I received the problem statement in the first place from the uh, from the client. I would have to do a lot of market research. I have to analyze what exactly is going on, how I can solve that. I do a lot of experimentations, trial and errors keep happening. And at the end, when I was able to identify the best result, that best result is what as a client you would be requiring. So I don't need to send everything that I'm doing from day one to resolve the issue. So that is point number one. So the End solution is this code assume. I'm bringing up the previous point. You will not appreciate this as a non-techie person. Let me show you a screen. This is uh, the UI that I have given you where you can pass new cars details here. For example, I just pass the file. I, you, you just have to click to choose a file. And once this is done, if you click on submit, you get the results. Boom. Now, do you like to have this kind of an user interface or do you want to run the entire code like this? If you have to do that, obviously you need to have a techie person, a Python programmer, or you have to learn the Python program. Now, would you want to invest on that? Or do you want me to give an end result, which is directly consumable by your uh, staff or you or your customers? Yeah, thank you, Sharad. That kind of answers uh, the question in quite a bit of detail. So I think that's dive in and uh, you could probably explain uh, through a series of steps how you're going through. And as in when I will, I will take the liberty of, you know, interrupting you and uh, stopping you. And uh, like I already mentioned, bombard you with questions. So I'll take the liberty. Sure. sure. So as, as, as I explained, uh, we were dealing with car dealers and uh, this business, the client is uh, basically working in, in this unorganized 
uh, segment of, of the um, automobile sector where there's a lot of malpractice happening. There's no standards maintained um, to appropriately decide the price of a used car. Now, as a car dealer, if, if you want to sell a car, right, a used car for your potential customers, how would you attract them? Because as I said, the competition is, is not fair. Now, there's a lot of places where the malpractice can happen. So as, as a customer, um, you would obviously want a genuine deal. So from a business perspective, my client wants to give a more organized, structured solution for their customers. So as part of that, we are trying to revolutionize this car industry, specifically with respect to the used cars spec segment by using machine learning. So we wanted to identify what could be the appropriate price of, of a vehicle, of a used car. But as I've highlighted here, a um, lot of malpractices, for example, there is a damaged car, there's a car which is accident, uh, accident prone, I mean, hit by um, some other vehicles and it has damaged very heavily. The business is, is in such a way that, I mean, it's run in such a way that you, you cover up that. You do all those repairs that are required and uh, do paint jobs and all that. And you sell it as if it is a brand new car. But internally, it is damaged. So the, the ideal scenario is the price of that particular car has to be low, but you're trying to malpractice and improve the price, right? Uh, eventually, the customer would obviously be able to identify if, uh, and, and there would be a dissatisfaction creeping in. So rather than using this, we, we wanted to try and focus on the performance of the vehicle and thereby try and define the price. So that is where we, we said a simple solution is to, can we identify what could be the efficiency of the engine or efficiency of the overall vehicle? And uh, that's, that's how we started thinking about doing the prediction of fuel efficiency. If, if I have a one liter fuel, how much mileage can, can that vehicle um, right, return us? Uh, this cannot um, be uh, modified a lot. So that's the, hmm. this problem. 